I know, you look at me and think, so terrible, breaking into houses like that. But I've changed my ways, I promise. My burglar days are over. Oops. Now I want to help you prevent guys like me from stealing your stuff. How do you know thieves are targeting you? What keeps us away? Spoiler alert, it's not just expensive security systems. But first, the telltale signs. Number one, an empty fuel tank. You're driving home from work or a nice shopping trip and notice the fuel tank is showing empty. But I just filled it up this morning. Don't be so quick to assume there's a problem with your car. It could be the sneaky work of burglars. Really determined thieves will stake your house out, follow you to work or your quick trip to the store, and drain all the fuel out of your tank to delay you as long as possible. If you find yourself with an empty tank, even though you're sure you filled up recently, call your neighbors and have them check on your place. If your fears are justified, call the police. 2. A new cleaner the appearance of a new cleaner should alert you if you use these services regularly. If your cleaner has changed, the company should warn you ahead of time. Or check it yourself. If there's no information about this new face, then something fishy could be going on. And don't let the new cleaner in the house in the first place. For that matter, watch out for 3. Fake uniforms What I mean is, the stranger at the door may call themselves a plumber, electrician, social worker, you name it. We've thought of it. If someone tries to pull this down on you, insist that they show you some ID. Such people may seem helpful and professional, but they're quietly studying your home while you're talking to them. Even if you just open the door and stand in the threshold, we can see your valuables from there. Along this same line, you might get number four, confused visitors. You're sitting there peacefully when you hear your doorknob wiggling and turning. Your heart instinctively jumps in your throat for a reason. Something's not right. So you go to the door and ask, without opening it of course, can I help you? The answer you're likely to get is, sorry, I'm visiting a friend. Must have mixed the address up. And naturally they take off. Try to get a look at their face through the peephole. If you have a door camera, even better. 5. Electrical problems. Be diligent about checking your lights, especially the outdoor ones. If they keep going out or the light bulbs are always coming loose, don't immediately assume you're having some electrical problems. Thieves can unscrew them or cut the wires. We feel safer doing what we do in the dark. 6. Marking Thieves can hang a flyer or a white sticker on your door. They also might slide a thin piece of plastic bottle in the doorway. This is how they mark houses that are easy to get into. They know just by looking at your place, but I'll tell you a bit more about that later. If you see anything weird like this, even if it's likely just a harmless ad, remove it. If something hangs there for more than a day, burglars will assume nobody's home. Besides flyers, they may write numbers, X's, or strange coded symbols on the house or door. Keep an eye out. 7. Unknown calls if you still have a home phone, do you get never-ending calls from unknown numbers? This could be their way of checking what times you're usually home or away. A burglar may immediately hang up or be silent when you answer such a call. My advice? Don't answer them. If it's important, the caller will leave a message. If they claim to be your utility company, get proof. Remember the thing about strangers at your door. Same thing applies here. 8. Broken Windows well, duh, it's how they get in. No, I'm talking about what seems like an accident. A baseball or rock flying through the living room window. Keep your guard up. It's not necessarily careless kids or vandals. Burglars might do this to check if anyone's home or if you have a security system. 9. Watch out for suspicious vehicles. If you see an unknown car parked near the house or it keeps driving by and you're sure it doesn't belong to anyone in the neighborhood, Call the police. Anything suspicious should always be reported. Okay, you now know if they're targeting your house, but you still need to know how to prevent it in the first place. I've got some tips and common mistakes. See if you're on the right track. Don't be careless with your trash. So many people just toss sensitive documents like their regular trash. Bank statements, pay stubs, receipts for big purchases. You know what this means to a burglar? These people have money and nice things. Always shred personal papers before you throw them away. 
And don't leave boxes from those expensive purchases out on the curb, be it a new plasma TV, the latest phone, laptop, or gold watch. Again, cut them up and conceal them in the bins as best you can. Better yet, take it to a cardboard recycling dumpster yourself. And if you see someone rummaging in your trash, call the police. Don't let your mail pile up. A mailbox stuffed full usually means a homeowner who's been away for a while, also known as an empty house with lots of nice stuff to take. Whenever you go on vacation for a long time or somewhere for a couple of days, ask a neighbor to get your mail. Or you can go to the post office and ask them to hold your deliveries until you get back. Replace old doors, windows, and locks. The state of your front door and windows can be a huge sign for a thief. If the door has old locks and entry points look weak and aged, the thief realizes these spots are easy to break in through. Invest in replacements if you need to. Make it clear to burglars that you're serious about your personal fortress. And make sure you've got plenty of outdoor lighting and sensors. Remember, we like to work in the dark. Check the shrubbery. Got a big tree growing next to your house or apartment? Get rid of any branches that hang near your windows. A burglar can easily use them as a ladder. Also, thieves try to avoid houses with thorny plants and bushes growing under the windows. Because, well, we don't want to walk away with some new body piercings. Keep it to yourself on social media. Don't rush to upload photos while you're off in some faraway place on vacation. It's pretty much like putting a big banner out there. Look, I'm not home and won't be in the nearest future. Duh. It's better to wait until you get back and only then upload your pictures and mention your awesome trip. Make it look like someone's at home. Now, you don't need to leave the TV or stereo on the whole time you're gone, because who wants to pay that electric bill? But you can get timers that'll switch your noisy electronics on every day for a certain amount of time. You can hook timers up to your lights as well. Block the windows. I know, it sounds obvious, but I can't tell you how many times I've drove around different neighborhoods and almost everyone had their curtains and blinds wide open. Or didn't have any. I could see everything. Their giant flat-screen TV, sound system, gaming consoles, musical instruments. Some burglars will break in just for the wallet sitting in the little bowl by the front door. By the way, get rid of that if you have it. Be especially careful about open windows at night. Yes, your holiday decorations are gorgeous, but I got my eye on that computer in the corner. Don't rely too much on a nice neighborhood. There are areas where residents feel so comfortable that they don't even lock the doors. Or they hide keys in an obvious place. I mean, under the doormat. Really? Come on, give me a challenge. Your neighbors might be honest people, but who's stopping anyone from coming into your quaint little cul-de-sac and helping themselves to your stuff? Always lock your door, period. Put up some fake stickers. If you can't afford a home security system, well, you know what they say, fake it until you make it. You can put stickers on your windows with the name of some security system company. Not many will be willing to check if you're bluffing. Or another good one, guard dog inside, even if you don't have a dog. You can also put some fake surveillance cameras up. Whatever gets the message across, do it. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life. How was that?